Hello, my name is Joanna, and in this video, I am going to look at the basics of drawing the Production Possibilities Frontier, or PPF. A PPF illustrates the different combinations of two goods, or sets of goods, that can be produced given all available resources and technology. Our graph will reflect just that, the quantity of the goods that we can produce, and not the resources that we have. Here's an example. Suppose it's Saturday afternoon and we're having a party later. Someone will bring dinner, we'll bake desserts. Our pantry is stocked up with eggs, flour, sugar, and butter, and we have mixers and ovens, we're all set. Suppose it will take us one hour to bake two cakes. Alternatively, we could take that time and ingredients to bake four pies. Our choice is for an hour's worth of our time to bake two cakes or four pies. Remember, we have the afternoon, say four hours. Our PPF will illustrate all combinations of cakes and pies we can bake in that time. We can bake either eight cakes or 16 pies or a combination thereof. Let's draw cakes on the x-axis and pies on the y-axis. This is arbitrary and you could draw it the other way around too. In four hours, we can bake eight cakes if we don't make any pies. That's this point, eight cakes, zero pies. Or we could bake 16 pies if we don't make any cakes. That's this point, zero cakes, 16 pies. The line that connects these extremes is the PPF, and it illustrates all combinations of cakes and pies we can bake in four hours. Now notice, we don't write the hours anywhere on our graph because that's not the point of the PPF. The point is to show the desserts we can bake in the time that we have, and the trade-offs we face when we want to produce more cakes or more pies. Thanks for watching.